Hi everybody, this is Rosa um, Pardi, but my real name is Rosa Edelmira um, Juarez Perez, or Perez Juarez. Um, and I want to say hi to everybody. If you are watching me and you know me, um, make sure you like and share this video. Um, I'm starting something totally new about um, just recording um, my process of eliminated negativity. Um, negativity, whether it's around you, within yourself, and why is it that you are thinking so negative about yourself. So I wanna tell you that there's three biggest dangers that you can tell yourself. Um, one, it's that story that, hey, because this happened to me, um, I'm born in poverty, or I, you know, I didn't have no choice where I was born. I don't have anything. Um, my my dad and mom are not even there to take care of me. They're not there to show me how to be a woman or how to be a man or how to act like a lady or act like a boy. Um, and another thing is number two is fear. Um, inner inner self doubt you doubt yourself because of the story that you tell yourself um, so the story that I used to tell myself was well I act this way because nobody taught me how to to act any better um, or react or um, other people's opinion or whatever it might have been um, and the other thing is that you tell yourself that negative story about you, like, I can't read, I can't write. And to help you feel comfortable about saying those things so that nobody will judge you. And then with that, you then have created that fear of starting something new, which is just maybe turning around and saying, yeah, I was born in poverty. I don't have a lot. I don't understand what's going on. I feel stupid at school. I feel like I don't understand. I feel like um, I can't make it. Um, I'm not funny. I'm not thin enough. I'm too fat. I'm too ugly. Um, my eyebrows are, don't look so good. Um, I like her eyebrows. So you kind of start comparing yourself with other people. So not only do you tell that story of because I was born in this situation or because this happened to me, it's, um, it's a way to kind of make you feel comfortable not to think positive about yourself. I am here to tell you that I used to do that all the time. Um, why? Because I had people around me who made me feel small, who made me feel like my light didn't matter. And I remember there was one person in particular who, in my country, Guatemala, um, she loved me no matter what. I wasn't her child. Um, but every time I saw her, she made me feel so good about myself. She gave me hugs and she gave, you know, she just looked at me like I was one of her children. Um, and that just inspired me. That just, every time I think about those moments um, and I have a bad moment to myself, I say, you know what? If she could see through me without me seeing myself, then I have to start seeing myself the way that person looked at me. And that person didn't have to get to know me for a long time in order for her to say, you are smart. Your smile is contagious. Keep smiling. Um, you can do anything that you want. And you are beautiful. Um, you can be inspiring you can do whatever you choose to don't ever let nobody take that shine away from you and when you tell when you grow up and you lose yourself because of others or because of where you're living just try to remind yourself that you are unique no matter what you can never be anybody else 
I will never be anybody else than myself. Who am I? Rosa. I was born in my country, Guatemala. Nobody can change that. I have my accent and it's different than many other people. Some people might like it, some people might hate it, some people make fun of me. I have people make fun of my accent all the time. Um, but I can't um, pay attention to those comments. All I can do is just focus on who I am as a person and how can I grow with what is given to me. And with that, I think that now I am in a position where I can be a lot stronger than I used to be. Um, I'm happy. I don't need a lot of people to be around me for me to feel happy. I don't need people's opinions or approval to say, yeah, you're doing that right. I don't need any of that. And I feel confident because I feel confident with myself because I'm telling myself a different story that I am smart. I am responsible. I live on my own. Um, I have my son, I take care of my son. I put my son first. My schedule goes around my son. Um, he's very important to me. And I tell him I love him every single day because as a child, I didn't have that. So I want him to know what it is to like have a parent who says, I love you, baby. Like, you're my son. And I know that through our experiences, we can become better people. Um, and um, I'm very um, likable, I am very positive, I don't disrespect people, um, I love my kids that I work with, um, I love just making a difference and if I can help somebody, I know I help somebody um, every single day by the way I smile, um, by saying, hey, how are you, how you doing today? Um, asking those questions and just saying are you okay um, and if you let me know hey I'm not okay okay just take your time you're allowed to have bad days um, so my advice to you today and um, the way you think about yourself it's very important the story you tell yourself is very important so you either gonna tell yourself you are what you are and how you are it's okay to be different it's okay to not have everything put together at this point um, but remember that pain only lasts for so long and if you want better for yourself in your life I'm here to tell you that I'm a living proof of that Coming from poverty to a whole different country, not knowing the language, going to school, graduating school, and getting my, my bachelor's degrees, my master's degrees, and being here alive, it's a miracle. It's amazing. So if I can do it, you can do it. You can tell yourself a different story no matter what anybody else thinks. So if I were you, I would take a journal and start writing what you like about yourself. What is it that you're going through? And start changing that story slowly. Start doing things that help you be a positive person, help you uh, become a better person, help you to be, to be more independent, um, more caring, um, and to love you for who you are. So that's my message for today and um, I hope you have a good day and don't forget, uh, like this and share it and I know some of you guys will watch this and say, oh my gosh, this is Miss Rosa. Um, so share it and show some love, okay? Bye.